I have this one piece of hair that just like decides it wants to be different from the rest. <laughs> And I know this is really late, but you know better late than never I am doing once again my like annual what I got for my birthday birthday haul video and I turned 16 I know I don't look 16. I get that comment so much. Are you seven? I'm not but yeah, I actually am 16 and my main gift for my birthday was to go to LA So I did a whole bunch of vlogs for that and also my aunt told me that she wanted to take me like out And like get some vegan snacks and go shopping for my birthday, but she hasn't had time yet So that's not going to be included in this haul But if you want to see what goes on that day, I will definitely vlog it So like if you're not subscribed to my vlog channel, honestly, what are you doing? So I know it's been a while my birthday was in August, but I'm finally going to do this video So of course I am not trying to brag one time I Said sarcastically that I was and no one caught it but I'm really not so without further ado I will just get started I am so grateful and just a huge thank you to all of you guys for wishing me happy birthday on like Twitter Instagram all of that I felt very loved so as part of my like LA birthday gift I did some shopping while I was there and I obviously don't need any more clothes but it happened anyways and I went to Nasty Gal while I was there. It's just like a plain white bag. But as you can see, there's literally like pencil marks, hairs, all this stuff all over it. So it didn't stay looking that cute, but I really liked the store. And I think it's only in LA, so I was just like enjoying it, I guess. All of my hair is all nice and straight, except for this one little section. And like, I feel like that one section represents like me at life. The first thing that I got at Nasty Gal was a bodysuit. And these have been like so popular lately. And I think they're really cute, but I think it's annoying like having to be like naked when you're peeing in the bathroom. So that's what was kind of holding me back. But this one actually has like a little, I don't know if you can see, it's like a little snap thing at the crotch. So you don't have to like completely undress. And it's really cute. It's like just a plain kind of t-shirtish style. It has this design along the sides. I don't know. I'm going to try and find that like vlog clip of when I tried it on because I want to show you guys. And look at the tag that I have at Nasty Gal. It reminds me of like Tetris. Also from Nasty Gal, I got a pair of shorts and they don't have the tags on them because I've already worn them. I wore them on my birthday and I love them. They're the cutest thing. I'll put in like a picture of how I styled it that day. And they are like a special design. It's the After Party by Nasty Gal. And I think it's basically where they'll get like old vintage jeans and they'll like remake them into cute shorts and then sell them there. So I thought that was really cool, like each pair is unique, you won't be able to find it again and that was like enough to convince me to get it. So this is what they look like, they're just plain kind of like medium wash shorts and they are Levi's and I don't know why, I just love them, they have this kind of different color. And also these shorts with the bodysuit I just showed make a beautiful outfit, like totally Instagram worthy. I went to this little boutique and it was called Irene Story and I got a cute pair of like little sandals, like silver flip flop kind of things. But I don't have them to show because Opal already ripped them up and destroyed them. I got those shoes to replace my old flip flops she destroyed and she destroyed them again. So like... So when I was on Melrose, I didn't even know that they had this, but I saw it and then we just like had to pull to the side of the road. Um, I'm so basic, but it's called LF, but no, not just like the normal $200 LF, it was the outlet. And it basically had a lot of the same things as the normal LF, except it was like instead of $200, $20. So, you know, I like had to hop on those deals. I have no clue how I'm going to style these, but I think they're really cool. They are the Karmar shorts, and they're like a burnt orange, I would say like rust color, starting to know my colors. So if you guys have any suggestions on like how to style these, let me know because I really like them, but it's been a kind of like a struggle trying to find an outfit to wear. And I used to never carry a purse, and my mom got so annoyed about it. I finally found a purse when I was in LA. It was actually from Forever 21, but I lost the bag. So this is what it looks like. It's very, very plain. It's just over the shoulder, black, and it has... What am I even trying to stretch? Stretch, stretch, stretch. And it just has a clasp thing out front. Very basic, but I think I'll get good use out of it. They had a buy one, get one free on handbags. So I picked up this other one too that has this white trimming all around it. And I thought it was super cute. Nice to have a backup. But then when I got to the front of the line, it's like, oh, only these bags you can get for free. And it was like two bags and they were like the ugliest ones. But my heart was like already attached to it. So, you know, I got this one as well. I love little silver dainty necklaces. I'm kind of like mad at myself that I didn't wear one with this outfit. But my godmother, like we went shopping with her and she bought me a few of them and they're so cute. She also gave me just like some money for my birthday, which is so nice. So thank you if you're watching this. 
The first necklace is an elephant because like I don't have enough things with elephants on them. I think they're just like the cutest animals. Then from H&M I got this super tangled silver dream catcher one. A set of just different size pearl earrings because it's like literally all I wear. And then an insanely tangled up feather necklace and it has these little like beads along it. The final thing from LA is from a store called Vegan Scene and I saw this like on different people's vlogs and I wanted to visit it so you know I did and I love the bags and it looks like the Tiffany's colors I'm hoping that's right it's really tangled up but I just got a tank top and it's a color that I wouldn't normally wear like I normally hate super bright colors I like a lot of muted more neutral ones but for some reason I just like this it's good like summer tank you feel and it just says compassion is my fashion with a heart it's like part of their anti fur campaign I think now I'm gonna get into some gifts for my friends Thank you if you're watching this to all of you guys. Um, this first gift is from like two of my friends. They kind of like came together. So shout out to Jessica and V. Like you guys are awesome. Okay, so this first thing came from V, and you can see the wrapping paper Kimoji. He is like obsessed with the Kardashians. Number one Kim and Kylie stan, I would say. Like he knows more about them than they probably do. And he is pretty obsessed with the Kimoji merch line. So he came through with some Kimoji merch for me. He got me this case. Hold on. You can see it says said nudes but like don't get the wrong idea guys it's just a joke but like it's so cute i love the candy hearts and i will wear it actually sometimes we use our phones in class to like take a picture of the assignment on the board and i can already imagine like oh that's a cute phone case what's it say and then like the teacher reading this out loud like that would happen and then i also got the matching kimoji tin which i love i don't know where i'm gonna put it though I am trying to decide. I kind of want to like get a denim jacket and like collect a bunch of cool like different pins from different places. Next in here we have the Too Faced Waterproof Better Than Sex Mascara and oh my god what if like YouTube unmonetized the video because of this like. Anyways I've been wanting to try this mascara for a long time. I've heard it's really good. And then I also got this Naked Skin by Urban Decay Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and it's just in light neutral. And finally I got this Tardis Lip Crayon and it is in the shade Thirsty. Like they would pick the shade that's thirsty. Next gift is from Quinn and you guys probably know her. She's in quite a few of my vlogs and she always just comes through so thank you Quinn. There's just a jumble of things in here so first we got this cute little teddy bear. A watermelon lemonade perfume. Some tissues, great for back to school time when you're like crying every day. Some notes, stickers, hairpins, stationery, a card, this little Bath and Body Works hand sanitizer. It's in a French Kiss Fairy. And finally, a little shower gel and some earrings. My friend Stephanie got me a Starbucks gift card, so thank you to her. And then I'm like covering the name, but some of you guys probably already know anyways. But I just got a gift card also to a local boba place. I love boba so much. I honestly love it more than myself. I highly recommend you try some if you haven't. And then my friend Zavaldi gave this super cute gift. She wrote out this big long emotional thing and look it says happy birthday Lexi with like little plants on that. Like if this isn't me I don't know what is. And I got some Harvest Snout Snappy Crisp. These are really good. I love the black pepper flavor and I also just recently tried tomato basil which you know is also pretty good. And then she gave me this Tarte highlighter. It's the Amazonian clay highlighter in Exposed I think. And it's like so sweet. She even put a little sticky note on here that says you are the highlight of my life and there's a little cruelty free symbol on the side and I think it's so thoughtful like everybody who got me makeup like made sure specifically it was cruelty free because they like know me and I'm just like so touched. I realized I didn't show this. The bag has nothing to do with what's inside but my mom and brother gave me a few little gifts on my birthday. I got this palette. It is the Carly Bible 10 color eyeshadow and 4 color highlight palette. I've been wanting to try this for the longest time and then it recently came to Ulta. So this is what it looks like. It has this like pearl design all around it totally my aesthetic and there's a little thing on here I don't know if you can tell but look how pretty it is and it's so pigmented too like sounding beauty guru AF even though I don't know how to do makeup then I also got a card from my parents and touched honestly in this little coupon book my mom does these like she's been doing them for years they're so cute it's just like things like I'll get you a boba you don't have to do your chores for the week you know like little things like that and then my brother gave me this body shop tea tree night lotion and I was running low on this I love this stuff and if you're like trying to get rid of like red marks or like impurities on your skin I feel like this does a good job and it's like natural stuff kind of and then from my grandma I got mainly money so thank you to her like you can never go wrong with that and she also got me this really cool candle it's basically like she got it specially made for me it has my name in it and it has like a little lotus flower and when it lights up it's like so pretty and then a lot of my family members also just gave me like straight up money but I feel like bad just like showing bills like oh my god I'm so rich so I'm not gonna do that but you know 
if you gave me something thank you so much even if you didn't thank you so much also for your support and for being amazing i think that that's going to be it for this video hopefully you guys enjoy it i feel like i'm forgetting to say something so if i forget something i'll have it in the description box below thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you have an awesome rest of your day make sure you subscribe for new videos every week and i think that'll be it bye